Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LCK matchup. We also have the aiming go kill, but Ziggs, as strong as he is, I think, oh. quite that is all. Oh, yeah, Guma uh, in a lot of trouble here. He does have the magical journey, but following is Mohab. And guess who's here? It's Lucid. The jump scare from the jungle. It will be Mohab. Faker did it. We saw Mohab did it. I mean, Faker's probably going to die, so he had to do it. Here comes an equalizer. This King in continuously getting pushed out. Carrier and owner here. But we got Mohab and Lucid here as well. Lucid just waiting. Guma's on his way. His ult out if they do decide to go for the dive. Here comes the Nocturne, avoided with the Camille ult and the Maokai ult coming out as well, looking for owner. As a ton of damage over the top from the Six owner in a lot of trouble with avoid a bunch of the early damage, but eventually does go down. Zeus getting pretty low himself, and the counter dive comes out. The cleanse here from Guma, but the follow up from Lucid, and they're gonna get Zeus as well. But the sun comes in, Lucid and Moham super low. But there's Barely had in gold, I imagine, because of the fact that. When aiming TP'd, Faker was just getting the plate. So by the end of it, uh, T1. That's a lot of people. King and might have to flash again. I'm trying to bait him in as Zeus. And see yeah, how nice dodge on the Bartle. But here comes the Nocturne. Very difficult to get away from this one. The Fear is coming in, but he does avoid a little bit of the damage, but not the Fear. And now the Equalizer will come down, and King is just dead. DK not able to turn this. And T1, they've got everybody in this one. As Baker comes over, a double kill for the Rumble. And now Zeus is off to the races. From T1. Yeah, and that can still be very useful with your Ziggs. You know, you throw that in. King in a lot of trouble here. He is not going to respect the lack of vision. And he just gets punched to death by the Rumble. Three kills already for Zeus. And we talked about this top lane matchup. Moham now in a bit of trouble. Faker keeping him around. Perry wants to do so as well. Here comes Owner. Not having the paranoia, but he's just going to flash on in as, oh, so low is Moham, but the lock in comes in. It doesn't matter. The Q will land the final blow. And that is another kill on the board here for T1. And a lot of this snowballs as well from the fact that you get the kill in bot side. That means that DK is going to have to play a lot more respectful as uh, we are still attempting a catch here. Lucid has ult, but... I don't oh, know what it can do. Right. Uh, he's going to land the stun here on Zeus, who is in a lot of trouble, actually. That's a big shutdown that just got given over to Showmaker. At the end of the day, a lot of TPs. It's over forces on either side. Should be able to get this turret with the satchel as there it goes. Uh, no plates, but still, mid lane turret is always going to feel like a big win as Kingen is still with Camille. So, like, despite the fact that his life has been very unfortunate. He can still do stuff like this. Yeah, he's just going to throw an ult in, and you can't get out of that one as Kingen. He does get very, very low, but he did his job, and there's not much that Carrier can do up here on the but top Even though, side. obviously, the laning phase was a bit of a disaster, uh, the Camille will always have value because you have Ziggs, Maokai, and Porky. As a uh, They'll still be able to get it. So, well, someone has to catch this top wave. We'll see. It's show a lot of people down on bottom side. He is going to stop now just to do grubs. And Guma's going to get hit by the satchel again. And this time he doesn't have flash. He's in a lot of trouble. The magical journey will not save him. That is another shutdown given over to DK. This time it's given to the Ziggs, who is casually 2 0 and 3. And with MF. If you have your BT, oh, possible collapse. Yeah, they're trying to turn, actually, on this Zeus. That's a ton of damage. He has to flash away, but now trying to get on top of Aiming, who is left all alone. He satchels over the wall. It's beautiful. But that is a Yone who can do even better than the Ziggs can. Kingen's on the way. Trying to turn here on a Faker. There's the Solar Flare. They should be able to trade this one back. Lucid tanking up a ton. He gets the root. He flashes away. He lives. It's a double kill for Showmaker. And just incredible has to vision. Cannon. They don't have vision right now, and you got to know this is happening. Lucid, I don't think he's going to make it here in time. And they've realized now, but I think it's too late. Yeah, Aiming's just going to turn back around, and especially with the paranoia. You don't have any chance of making it into the pit. T1, they take the Baron. Not even necessarily a Added. sneak. And especially as teams just get better and better about clearing all the wards, so... You don't have the flank ward. T1 are just going to have to go straight up here as, uh-oh, not the Blast Cone to save you as it is going to knock out Kingen. But now Faker's 1v1. They're trying to collapse here on a Kingen with the Paranoia, but he gets away from the Fear. Should be okay, but the Equalizer is pretty huge. The flash away from Faker, who is now in a bit of trouble. Everybody going to get rooted down as there is no more Yoni and a massive Jinx 
bomb over the top is going to push T1 away. It's not a clean fight. Nothing in this game has been clean. As a lot of members here on the side of DK are also quite low, but they're going to stick onto the Baron, or rather the Dragon anyway. Owner has flash. It's might as well carry up. We'll see if they can able to contest this. Oh, they're trying to take the fight here. RDK. Oh, the satchel to deny the magical journey. He's not able to get away. And owner, I mean, he still could sacrifice his life to try to get in there. Yep. Oh, no, it's oh. It goes to MF as they're not able to check all the boxes. And with now DK, they're, they're just going to, okay, we're going to group up in top and just Let's push. get the inner. Yeah. Okay, and, and T1 is kind of calling their bluff and looking to push on mid. Uh, Karia almost, no, he's just actually dead, not almost. He is just dead. They, they gotta start Nash. Eight and zero. Like, especially with the positions that they got right now, like, Guma is gonna get the mid inner, and Owner is still here, so Steel is a possibility, but so much of their setup does come from this Bard. They don't see Camille. They don't know where he is. They have a suspicion. And the setup, as you mentioned, it's just the turn from the side of DK. They try to get in, but the arm guard is there for Showmaker. And this fight of Maximal comes in from Baker. And he's just going to get super low, as will Owner. Owner barely getting away. But at the end of the day, T1, they stopped the Baron take. And the turn is, again, not very clean. Hang in, looking for more, and he will actually take down Owner. I just don't think it's enough, because again, Owner is just about to get to life. And everyone on DK is on this Baron. Oh, they're gonna Stalling. delay it, They might be on uh, just the dragon, uh, or rather the damage is just way too much. And now here comes the combo. The turn comes in on Aguma. It's not very clean. They should just take the Baron as they finally do take it down. In goes Owner, but he's okay. Uh, now Showmaker doesn't have a flash. He's being burned down quite a bit here. They're looking to turn as there goes Baker into the back line, takes out Showmaker. And an angle here for Goomba, pretty good. Bowen, I'm probably going to go down, and that he does. And DK, they get away with Call only Chase. Two. Like, Showmaker's healthy enough. Mountain Soul on the card. Yeah, they're gonna get it. Just going to get it for free. There's nothing that Lucy could do, even though he approaches the dragon. It's Mountain Soul. Truth that this is just a challenge. It's just game. challengers. Baby. It's just challengers, baby. <laughs> I don't know why it took me this long to figure out. Is DK still have a minute left? Yes, our regional qualifiers first match. It's just challengers. Uh, so they still have Baron, and they're trying to get the inhibitor. They're, 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 they're gonna get it. Unless T1. No, no, it's gone. Okay. Objective. We'll see if T1 can answer this one. The Last cone denied, and Ingen uh, gonna have to TP back into this fight. The poke not really doing much from oh, Amy just yet. Look, wave. Is he gonna just push for the inhib? I mean, he can always threaten an end, and potential for T1 to not get away if they stop the backs, but we do have Rumble's AOC. He is gonna back now, as this is a very tense moment in this Are game. Are we just flipping it? We're just flipping it, I guess. I mean, Baker trying to find the angle, and it's just gonna come down to Goomba Yusi again! It's gonna take down the objective, and they're TP. They're trying to end the game. They say, enough with your Elder Dragon, but Sam is going to this, and he might just be able to defend the base by himself. Down he will go, but T1, they still have Elder Dragon. Aiming's gonna go down. Down will go King, and eventually, his owner will take him out with the paranoia, and that might just do it as T1 and Gooba, they take the objective and they look to push mid. This is 42 minutes in. No one that can clear waves is gonna be alive anytime soon. Zayus can TP in. I'm pretty sure this is just gonna be it. There's an elder buff and it goes to Gooba of all people. And it was a total flip. There were like eight people around that drink. Oh, DK. That's gonna be it for game one, Velvas. What a suitable <laughs> ending to this first messy game. Absolutely. This is exactly the way that game one had to end. These After were the best highlights from today's LCK matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say, okay. See you on the next one.